there everyone! This is one of two videos for this week that are going to be more fluffy, non-serious, tag type things. I just finished having a week at work that was a bit too much for me to handle. <laughs> so that's the reason for not having uploaded anything last week. And uh, as a result, this week is just in order to keep me away from an upload slump, I'm just going to do a couple of tags. There are a total of 17 questions in this tag. Um, from what you can see here, my kitten, Luna, is going to be taking part in this as well, apparently. Question number one is, do you have a certain place at home for reading? Normally, I am... Normally, my preferred place to read at home is on the bed. Uh, it's it's a because out here in the living room my husband also has his computer and he's also doing his thing watching stuff on YouTube and watching movies and stuff normally my preferred place to read is in the bedroom because it's quieter but uh, sometimes I will sit on my chair like I am right now and read and other times I'll be sitting on the couch over there beside my husband instead and read as well um, but it, it's really dependent on how I feel and whether I think I'm going to be able to focus enough. Question number two is bookmark or random piece of paper? I prefer a bookmark, but I mean if there isn't any around I'll choose a random piece of paper. That's fine. Fun fact though, um, there is another similar tag to this one I saw online before I decided to go with this one. And it mentioned something about dog-earing book pages, and I had to look it up. I actually did not know that... I actually did not know that um, to bend the pages of a book to act like a bookmark was called dog-earing. I had no idea. Question number three is, can you just stop reading or do you have to stop after a chapter or certain amount of pages? Technically, I can stop at any time I want, um, but I do prefer waiting until a scene break or chapter break first. Uh, just because my short-term memory is actually kind of bad and um, as a result, um, if I don't stop at a scene or chapter break, I run the risk of not remembering what I just read. It's weird, but it's, it's, it's how my brain works. Question number four is, do you eat or drink while reading? I will drink something while reading, definitely, but I normally don't eat as well because I don't want to make the pages all messy. I, I uh, Especially since I tend to eat a lot of food that uses my fingers instead of like a fork or knife. And, fork or knife. Fork and knife. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, uh, f uh, because eating food run, runs the risk of um, making me mess up the pages of the book, I normally don't eat while I'm reading. Question number five is multitasking music or TV while reading. Like, I don't watch TV uh, these days, so I default to music. I have a playlist on Spotify in which I um, have like all sorts of songs, both from the past and present and from when I was younger to ones I've heard more recently. And uh, I put that on shuffle and then I just listen to that while I'm writing. Question number six is one book at a time or several at once? A few months ago I tried doing like uh, three or four books at one time, uh, which was okay, but I find I progress better if I only focus on one book at a time for the most part. Maybe two at the most, um, but especially when it comes to my monthly TBRs, I only focus on doing one book at a time in a certain order, and then once those are done, if I want to read a bonus book of some kind, I will, but only if there's enough time left by the end of the month, and if I feel I can finish the book in time. Question number seven is reading at home or everywhere? Um, I mean, I prefer reading at home mostly because I can control um, how my environment interrupts me. Um, if I'm outside in a place that's quiet, sure, rel quiet relatively speaking anyway. Um, but I definitely prefer at home for sure. 
Uh, question number eight is reading out loud or silently in your head. I prefer silently in my head. Uh, I don't read out loud, um, mostly because it's just, I don't like doing that, especially if I'm the, not the only person in the room. It, it's kind of weird, but it, it just kind of bugs me. All right, question number nine is, do you read ahead or skip pages? Um, I, I don't, sometimes I will just sift ahead a little bit just to see how many pages I have left to read in a chapter before the chapter is done. But 99% of the time I don't actually go and um, read ahead or skip pages or anything. Even if it's very difficult for me to read through, it takes a really, really bad book to make me want to skip anything. Question number 10 is breaking the spine or keeping it like new. I mean, I read paperback books all the time and you can't read a paperback book without breaking the spine. At least I can't. Not that I go out of my way to try and do that anyways, especially if it's a mass market paperback. Like I feel mass market especially is pretty much impossible to read without breaking the spine. Some trade paperbacks you could get away with it uh, depending on how thick the book is, but yeah, I'm, I'm okay with breaking the spine on books. I feel that it's a book well-read and well-loved should have the spine broken. Question number 11 is, do you write in your books? Oh, hell no. <laughs> no, I don't write in my books. Um, I don't even write my name in them at all. There was a period of time when I was younger that I used to write my name in them when I was in my teenage years or something, but I don't do that. I don't write for uh, for notes, references, writing my name, nothing. I uh, that's one of those things where I I just I can't. Question number twelve is when do you find yourself reading? Uh, anytime I'm in the mood, but most of the time it's at night, um, which is normally when I'm. Um, normally when I'm that's the point when I go and sit on my bed to read. I like like to read a certain, like at least a few chapters or so before I go to bed. I, I try to anyways. I don't always succeed, but that's normally what I do. Question number 13 is, what is your best setting to read in? Um, I'm not entirely certain what you mean by best setting. Um, so I'm just gonna repeat what I said before in my bedroom at nighttime, sitting on my bed, just reading. Question number 14 is, what do you do first, read or watch? I don't watch much of anything these days, um, outside of like YouTube videos. Uh, so definitely read by default. Um, very rarely is there a book that I have, have or haven't read in which I've watched some kind of adaptation first. Um, the Twilight series is probably the only one that I can think of off the top of my head because I wasn't, I've never really been that interested in reading the books and like I saw the movies or three of the five movies just because my mom and my sister were obsessed with it. Question number 15 is what form do you prefer? Audiobook, ebook, or physical book? Um, definitely physical book, preferably paperback. Um, Ebooks I don't normally read, um, mostly because if I'm reading something on a screen, it's more difficult for me to retain the information. Um, that's why I prefer a physical book. If I have a physical, tangible object I'm holding in my hand, sifting through the pages, you know, all that jazz, it helps me with retaining what I'm reading. Um, I don't go with audiobooks. Um, mostly because every time I plug something into my ears, it's music. I've programmed my brain essentially to go, if I plug something in my ears, I tune out everything and I just kind of go on autopilot. So audiobook is not a good thing in my mind because I have to focus on what I'm listening to. And it's easier with YouTube videos because I have something visually in front of my face to help guide me along on top of the audio. But if it's only audio, I, I don't, 
bother with audiobooks because of the fact that I just, I, good luck remembering any of it. <laughs> Question number 16 is, do you have a unique habit when you read? Um, not really. Um, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, actually. Question number 17, the final question is, do book series have to match? <laughs> have you seen my previous tags? <laughs> Uh, yes, book series definitely have to match, if at all possible. Sometimes, if a series picks up again later on down the road, after a certain amount of time has passed between the, pre the, the last book, then, it, especially if I have a particular edition, like that's the case with the Vampire Chronicles, in that I have like this one particular mass market version of like the original 12 books, that most of them match in some capacity or are designed similarly, but the three newer books that came out in the past decade, um, there is no mass market version of them, and they're all just trade paperback size. Uh, so I've, those ones I tried to get as close to matching those three as I could, but they're all, for the most part, very different. So I've just learned to accept the fact that I'm never going to find ones that match with the original 12 that I have. But outside of that, um, yeah, I, I make sure they match if at all possible. If I start a new series, I look for an edition that's currently being published that they all match or have similar themes in terms of design, coloring, all that, all that stuff. All right, there we go. That was my responses to the bookish habits tag. Um, I don't know enough people to tag for tags and I never get tagged by anyone so if you're watching this video and you haven't done it yet you're the one who's tagged heh <laughs> um so yeah uh thank you for watching this video I post a new one on Tuesdays and Fridays have a good one and I will talk to you later bye <laughs>